also, we got to hold up and wait to see what problems we're going to have yeah. with the RG LAX <laughs> because there might be some oh, random problems. There's definitely going to be. You got to remember to give it to me for a week to see if I can like, <laughs> break it. Do you want to talk about your issues, your Steam Deck issues now? Yeah. Specifically because I did just went ahead and buy a Steam Deck. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> it's all sorted out. I... <laughs> What, what, do you happened, mean, what do you mean it's all sorted what out? What happened was I did the in, the installation, like the initial setup, okay. and it stalled out at 1%. Is this OLED? It's a refurb. It's a 512 refurb. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, 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 you one, have this, it has a screen. Yeah. <laughs> How is the screen? It's good. It's good. Yeah, okay. it's good. Okay. Um, so a quick Google search showed me that if you connect the Steam Deck to a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal on startup, it stalls out. At one second remaining. I I have never had that happen. Me neither. I've never I've heard had of this. Fucking three different Steam there's decks like at least here. there's three different Reddit threads I read. Just to make sure I wasn't crazy. That's a thing. Five gigahertz? Five gigahertz Wi Fi signal. Yeah. So so and I I have one I think I have one of those Wi Fi's that does both. Yeah. Yeah, I have the without the, like saying that it does both. Right. Like I, like like if a device asks for 2.4 gigahertz, it'll mm -hmm. just give it 2.4. I have the Google Mesh router. Uh -huh. And that doesn't let you manually switch back and forth per device. It just is. So I had to shut down the Steam Deck and connect it uh wired to to the internet in order for the startup process That's to That's insane. Yeah. I've never heard of this before. Mike. Yeah. Not me neither. Because but, I, again, Mine are, it's a friggin' five gigahertz yeah. connection. I think there might be a two point four gigahertz like mass. Well, band yeah, they usually have, have both in there. Yeah, yeah, so that like you know, because you know, the Google call, router might not be automatically switching. That's to, the thing; like, yeah. it doesn't automatically switch, and it doesn't let you manually switch if you need to. That's really so. Bizarre. I had to hardwire it to the internet in order to get it to set up. But it's set up and it's great and I love it. It's so much better than everything else. <laughs> I have the MSI Claw here if you want to take it back. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'm done with it. Um, but yeah, refurb is the way to go because this was significantly cheaper than... Yeah, how, how much? 512, how much? Uh, what was it? It was like 360 before tax. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And I think new. you can still get it new, but it's like 400 something. And the, what is it? The lowest tier Steam Deck that you can still buy new is only like ten dollars less, and it's sixty four gigs. Is that uh, the uh, etched glass screen? The, yeah, that's the, the one with the, with the good screen. Yeah. So oh, some people don't like. It. Well, some I like people it. can go scratch. <laughs> I, I, I like it a lot. Yeah. Did you put MU deck on it? I did not put MU deck on. I just got whatever I was playing previously. Do you it. have your old SD card? I think I do. I have to look. Just put it in. Did I give you the D brand case when I gave it back the old one? Because I can't Maybe find it. Maybe it's on it. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. If it's on, I mean, I wouldn't have taken it off. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, All right. good luck. Thank you. I'll, I'll let you know what happens uh, <laughs> in a month. <laughs>